It's Tracy and Violet. That's where she sits when I'm at the computer from Nova Scotia Living. And it's like 10 after 11 at night. I already did today's video, but I just got done doing a teacup with Tracy and Violet video that I haven't done in like a week or something. And so that's what I spent my date night doing, which was kind of fun because I got to rehash over the books that I did read the past three or four weeks and the books that I try to plan on reading. Um, I gotta plug you guys in. The books that I plan on reading the rest of this month. So I should go to bed now, but I'm not going to because I still haven't finished. We'll get up here. That, and I have less than 50 pages, so I will finish that in a jiffy. And I'm going to finish, I don't know if I can drink that whole pot of tea. It's a big pot. It's, I forget what you guys called it. I don't know if it's a teapot or a coffee pot or something. But I've had this for like over 20 years. No joke. I have a little creamer and sugar bowl that goes with this too. I don't know. The funkier, the better. Anyways, I'm just having some King Cole tea. And I'm using that same creamer and this is the cup switched it up switched it up so anyways um, yeah those are the books that I read this past couple of weeks two three weeks these are the books that I want to read the next ones anyways um, for the remainder of this month and yeah this will go into my September reads because I've read it. When did I start this? This will be day number three, I think. Is that right? Something like that. Anyways, I'm going to finish this before I go to bed. I'm not going to let myself go to bed until I finish this. <laughs> Look. She's sitting over, cuddled on the blanket. She wants to go to bed. You can go to bed if you want to. You don't have to stay down here. I don't know, but anyways, I'm glad I did a teacup chat because I really miss doing those. And just with school, let me get you on this thing. Oh, just with school coming and the shopping and the prepping and my husband going away and all that stuff, I just didn't have it in me to do that. Not that I didn't want to, you know, like I enjoy doing it. It's just to sit down and have that time and be relaxed. It's hard to do sometimes. Yeah, this is just King Cold Tea. It's just what I need. But I just got done editing that tea time video and it's exporting and then I'll click it to upload. I'll probably publish it tomorrow because I probably won't stay up long enough for it to go through. Maybe. I don't know. We'll see. But I'm going to enjoy this and enjoy that. And... delicious. Have you guys had King Cole tea? I think it's, it's a friend of New Brunswick. I forget, but I think it's a Canadian tea, if I'm correct. Maybe I'm not. I don't know. I don't know nothing. Oh, delicious. Just put it into my vein. Yeah. 
So anyways, well, it's chilling over there. And yeah, I'll check back when I'm done this. And yeah, I'm excited, but I'm sad. You know, when you read a good book or you watch a good movie or I don't know, something like that. And then you want it to end because you're excited, but then you don't want it to end because it's over. And that's kind of, kind of like this. Kind of. But anyways, I'll be back in a bit. Well, good morning, friends. It's the next day. I went to bed. I have like 10 pages left in that book. I got so tired. I fell asleep and I woke up. I'm like, well, what are you doing, Tracy? Just go to bed. So I did. So <laughs> I could have easily finished that yesterday. I think my tiredness just hit me all of a sudden. So I'm going to finish that. It'll take me like two, two minutes, but um, yeah. Anyways, it's about eight o'clock in the morning. I got up at quarter after seven with me shouting, mom, mom. And let's just say he's already had a bath and stuff like that, that goes along with that. I don't know, that's just, he doesn't have accidents hardly. He was never, like when he was potty training and stuff, nothing, but I don't know, maybe it's the, whatever, but, and it wasn't even very much, but anyways, I gave him a bath, I'm washing his bedding, and it's all good, and when I came downstairs, Marquise and Kara set up their PlayStation on the TV in the living room, and I had said, oh, somebody's up there, just a minute, he's just up there, but, yeah, they had their PlayStation hooked up to the TV, and, which is fine, I don't mind, but I'm like, you gotta, you gotta unhook that now that I'm up. How do you, you guys, I can't have two bumps on a log sitting in the middle of the living room playing PlayStation all day when I got little kids and all that stuff. So, that's what they're doing now. <coughs> Anyways, I'm just taking her, she had a well, Misha got up when Maze did. I said, do you want to try to take Violet out for a pee? Just stay in the yard? So she did, but she didn't pee. Brought her back in. She, Misha said she got scared of a motorcycle. I said, okay. But after I was done creaming up um, Maze, we'll, I said, we'll go. And Maze is like, can I go for this walk? I'm like, no, you're all creamy and stuff, but we'll go for a walk later. So, anyways... Oh, there's Randall. <clears throat> All right, success. She did it. Yay, Violet. All right, now I'm going to go back and have a beautiful coffee. Oh. All right, I haven't checked in in a while. We're watching Jake the Snake and Andre the Giant. And we just watched uh, Hulk Hogan and... Again. George the Animal Steel. George the Animal Steel, yeah. He ate turnbuckles and he did that in the match. Yeah, he does eat turnbuckles, or he did. He's an angel now, but... Violet, get your nose out of that. But I ended up finishing that book, and yeah. Yeah, it was a good one. It was a good one, Violet. But anyways, it's 10 o'clock. I had my coffee. I need to go rotate the laundry and put another load in. Huh, Maze? <laughs> Can I get a hiya? <laughs> Alright guys, I'm in the van. It's just after 10. You just see here. Oh. It's 10.15. I'm going to go to town. I really don't want to go to town, but I need to get a black binder. Because stores will be closed tomorrow, being Labor Day and all. And then the kids have school on... Tuesday and while I'm in town I'm gonna stop to Superstore it's late in the morning for me to really get any good deals but I might pick something up easy for supper perhaps I don't know I do have uh, more freezer meals I could put in but we'll see and I'm just gonna be as fast as I possibly can I'm gonna listen to my audiobook and I didn't bring Violet with me just because I'm going into the stores and stuff but the kids are all home 
and I'm just, yeah, I'm just gonna do what I need to do and get it done and over with. All right, I made it to Superstore. If they have a black binder here, I'm just gonna get it as long as it's not too crazy expensive. I just, I don't feel like being in town today. I just wanna get what I can get and get going. So we'll see, we'll see. All right, there's a bunch of salad stuff and lettuce and celery. More lettuce and those beans. Hmm. Hmm. Some Brussels sprouts. I see some tomatoes over there. more tomatoes up here. I might get some if they're, they don't look too bad, like for sandwiches. As long as they're not too squishy. Yeah, we'll see. There's grapes that, I don't usually buy grapes 50% off because they're not quite as crunchy and stuff. Don't care for that. <clears throat> There's some vanilla cake. I see some bread here, 50% off, hot dog buns, multi-grain, organic loaf, 27 whole grains. I'll keep looking. A cherry pie. <clears throat> we'll see what else. I want to get some sandwich meat for sandwiches. Oh, there's some homemade like bakery buns. Kaiser buns? Is that what they are? I don't know. Large Kaiser buns, yeah. And that cheese swirls. Alright, here's that um, bakery hodgepodge. There's some bagels. I wonder if there's any plain bagels. Some little cinnamon muffins, cheddar cheese biscuits, donuts, coffee cake, those croissants. I'll see. There's some ground pork. But, yeah, see, tomorrow the stores are closed, so maybe they have more stuff. But again, it's after 10 now. There's those steaks up there, but no, still too pricey. Still too pricey. Of course, sausages, they always seem to have sausages. Itty bitty pork sirloin chops. Here's the hodgepodge. Little huggies, nursing pads. I used to use those sometimes because when I had booby babies, I would need them. A cute little toy. Or, I don't know whether that's meant to be here or not, but. Then, yeah, I'm gonna go around here. And that's where those beans are and olives. Walk over here. Oh, that's those cans of shredded carrots. I might get a couple just to try it in some recipe at some point. I've just never seen canned shredded carrots before. There's some sort of vanilla Icelandic yogurt. There's a beef merlot stir fry thing. I wonder if that's any good. I found a black binder. It was like three dollars, three forty nine or something. That's pretty cute. Oh god. Eighteen ninety nine, fifty percent off. No. Nah. I'm just thinking that'd be a cute little Christmas present, but no. 
No, they don't have any wrestling toys here. I just like to see what options are available. And not many. <laughs> Some sidewalk chalk. That stuff's all 50% off. A Anna doll. This sprinkler thing. Target chipper. Yeah. Dodgeball and volleyball. Yeah, 50% off. I'm just going up down, up and down every aisle just to see one of those little coffee cups. $6.99 regular, but I don't need it. Let's see what else. I'm just keeping my eyes out for those pink stickers just to see what's available because I often don't go around in every aisle like I really don't I go to the stereotypical deal sections and that's it here I don't think it's somebody's card but Schmucker's microwave will hot fudge total wash conditioning beads yeah relish see some batteries down here. They're 25% off though. There's a little thing of makeup and stuff. <clears throat> These little undershirts. Some socks. And there's like baby food, like the pablum. Those little rice husks. Can't imagine them ever going bad. They probably just need to move them. That pouch stuff. Some formula. More formula. Oh. <laughs> That's all right. And then they have a little makeup section here. I don't really buy anything here. Here's Hydrolox Instant Moisture Recharge Hair Mist. And some dry shampoo. I've never used dry shampoo. Waterless Cleansing Foam. I don't know. Some Pentine. Pentine. Hairspray. And shampoo. Yeah. Doesn't hurt to go up and down these aisles once in a while if I see something that tickles my fancy. some eye stuff travel dry eye relief lubricating eye drops A little uh, contact lens traveling thing any feminine care products 50% off I always like to buy those when they're available here's a little place you can buy some books but they don't have a great big selection And then one of these things. Well, I got some deals more than I thought I was going to get. So, I will show you when I get back home. All right. Oh, there's a help wanted sign there. They're hiring people in the area. Circle K, Irving. Anyways, I'm at the gas station. My gas light and every other light's on, but those lights always stay on. Yeah, I'm one of those kind of people. Don't worry. My brakes are fine. The engine's fine. The tires are fine. But there's a lot of motorbikes in town. But um, I'm coming here because I can get air miles. Whereas other gas stations... Well, Shell I could have, but I never thought to stop there. Oh well, I'm just going to wait my turn. 
All right, I just stopped to our other house um, just to check on things and everything's hunky-dory. So we're just waiting for the guy to come mow. We've been hiring this guy. He does people's lawns, so he should probably be coming soon, I would imagine. But yeah, anyways, now I'm heading home. Actually, no, I'm going to stop to the local post here because I'm mailing something to Medea from the house. And then I'll head home. And I'm going to see. I don't go to this post office very often. I used to because I used to live in this house. But um, to see if they have secondhand books. Cheap. Just to see because I haven't I haven't checked at this, this post. So we'll see. Oh, I just noticed. Look at that view. There's something in the mailbox here. Probably flyers or something. I'm going to check this before I leave. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> Jeez. All right. I just remembered it's Sunday. It's not even open, so I'm not gonna be able to mail this until Tuesday. Oh well. All right, it's 11.56. The kids are setting up the table for the hall and they'll tell me when it's done. So, yeah. But I found what Medea wanted me to find, mail out to her, but it'll have to wait. So, that's the best I can do, sister. All right, guys, it's all set up. So I'll start here. I got two things of Sensitive Skin Dove Body Wash. It was on sale for $9.99. It's kind of pricey, but this is the only kind that we can use without bothering our skin. I got these, I thought, from Mally. Um, hair masks and minerals. I don't know. Something she'd tinker around with. Regular $3.74. So... And got these two frozen meals, I thought, for Kara and Marquise, because they need a treat too sometimes, and just to try it. So, why not? There was one of those little toothpaste, Maze doesn't like mint, so this is bubble fruit, it's Ryan. But, um, so regular $1.54, it was 77 cents. I got some regular uh, goldfish, Misha only likes the regular kind, she doesn't like the other flavors. For lunches this school year, we're going to have this salad tonight, a uh, Southwest salad. It seemed good. I, look, I always look at the bottom of salads to check out the lettuce and stuff. Um, I got three Lunchables for her lunch mates for the first day of school. Just an easy pack lunch for me, a treat for them, and hip hip hooray, school is starting. So, yeah. I got two bags of dill pickle chips. They were two for two fifty. I got myself a book. I know. I need to stop. But I've never read Karen Slaughter. I have another book of hers. Pretty Girls or something. I don't know. I haven't read it yet, but I'm going to read that one first, and then I'll read this one if I want to. <laughs> I bought some watermelon juice, peach juice, and simply orange 50% off juice. Um, I got some ham slices for sandwiches. I ended up getting some margarine because butter was crazy expensive, like 7 bucks for a little brick, six ninety nine. Um, Two things... Oh, this is fruit salad with cherries, and this is sliced peaches for lunches. I got some seedless grapes, not 50% off. So, and grapes are super expensive. This bag of grapes, you put it on the weigher, and it was like $7 and some, but the kids love grapes. I'll wash them all up, and I can bag them up for lunches, or they can just eat them. I got some pizza bites, 10 bucks. 
it's a quick, easy lunch, and they last a while. So I got two things of strawberry cream cheese. They were $1.99. I got some bagels. These have sesame seeds on them, but I think they'll still eat them um, to go with that. But those were 50% off. I got Misha's Black Binder. Um, I got a uh, thing of bread, old mill, and Wonder Bread, 50% off. These will go right in the freezer. I did get two cans of those shredded carrots. Just, I mean, I can't see there's anything wrong with them. It's just, you know, just to try it. Two bags of frozen onions because I'm planning on doing freezer meals sometime this month, hopefully. I did get some lettuce for sandwiches, ham and lettuce sandwiches. I got Violet some beef jerky and some chicken treats. I got Mally two Gatorades for school. They were two for three dollars I think and that's everything I got. But I did get quite a bit of 50% off stuff. Not as much as I usually do but they did have they did have a lot of things just not a lot of stuff that I would buy. So anyways now I need to put this stuff away. So they immediately wanted bagels for lunch, so that's what they got. I'm going to empty the dishwasher because i got to load up some dishes. There, much better. I just wiped the stove off too. All right, guys. Well, it's a little after three. I'm going to think about supper. Misha's up in the tub. She used some of her bubble bath and um, like bubble crystals and bubble bombs. That's what it was. Misha helped her set it up. So they did, wanted me to do a little clip. I was talking on the phone while I was doing it. So there'll be a little music over top. You helped Misha. Yeah, so anyways, I have this video edited up until now. This is the book that I'm going to start. Dracula in Love by John Shirley. Oh, don't really know the gist, but it's a horror. What? Um, I'm probably going to take for a walk after, but I need to wait till Misha's done because she wants to go too. So I'll go out in the kitchen and see what I can whip up easy for supper. All right, guys, it's 3.24. Not quite supper time, but I want to start making something now. Last night, Marquise and Kara were cooking in the kitchen, and they uh, wanted some hamburger. I said I got frozen or I have canned hamburger. I, I scrambled up. This is not a hamburger. This is ground sausage. Um, but I had hamburger the same way. I dry can it. Like, you cook it, and then you can it, pressure can it. I did this back in March of 2020. Um, they used hamburger with their hash browns and mixed it all up like a scramble. I brought up a thing of deer meat, too, that I had canned, which reminds me, I have a bunch of deer meat in one of my deep freezers, and my husband wants to get another deer this year. I said, you need to let me can that, or you need to cook it out, because there's not going to be any room. And he said, yeah, yeah, you can do with it with what you want so I plan on doing that this fall he's like just keep out the back straps I said well yes but you got to cook them anyways Maze and Violet could you guys please mosey on out he's Bye. out there he has wrestling on again but I'm gonna make like a pasta goulash spaghetti something with this but uh, anyways I'm gonna get a pot out you guys need to get going I'll Oh, Lord. Let me just get some water. Yeah, I'm just going to do something easy. And then we got that salad we got today. So some sort of pasta dish and salad. That'll do. <clears throat> and that way it uses it up. I need to start using up some of my canned beef. I mean, it's still good, but like I like to rotate that stuff. And... Then when I get more deals, like all those sausages I see all the time, I could get them, and I could can them, and I'd have them. They're great for, like, 
omelets or anything really. You just need need to can it up. So some of my plans for I don't know whether I'll do that this September or not. Like I want to can stuff, I want to cook stuff, I want to bake stuff. But if I have to tell you two again, Mosey, she'll come out in a minute. Um, put that over there. And I'll put this here. Yeah, I want to clear out my freezers and either make freezer meals or cook cook the stuff. Um, that way I can get some more fresh things to can and freeze. But um, this is mild Italian sausage. And I find oh, all that. Gosh, listen to that seal. That's what you call a good seal. Oh, it smells good. Oh. Yeah, I'm gonna stick these in the microwave for a minute just to loosen up because that stuff is stuck. Now some of the sausage juice comes out, but um, I need to loosen it up a bit. Wide mouth jars are probably better for this just because it's easier, but I don't have very many of those and I'm using what I got and this does work. I just need to warm it up so it crumbles easier so I can get it out of the jar and into the pan. So I'll be right back. Oh, you know those bagels I got today? I should have got two bags. There's only two left. Animals, animals. Anyways, I don't know what pasta I'm going to use. I'll use whatever I have. I have some canned pasta, like vacuum sealed pasta down in the basement if I don't have any up here. It's chilly. I have a sweater over top of my wrap thing and a little tank top. It's, I find it chilly. <laughs> Watch pot never boils, so I can't look at it. I can't look at it. But yeah, I'll wait till Misha gets out. I, this won't take long. The pot, like the pasta pot will take longer. I just wanna warm up the meat, throw some sauce in it just so it melts all together. And then I just need to wait for the pasta to be done. I should see what I have. And then mix it all together while I get out of that bag. Turkey. Oh yeah, I got some macaroni. Uh, yeah, I'll use that too. Is that open? Oh, that's open too. Okay. And there we go. I won't use all of this. I just I have open bags. I have. This is pretty full. I have a little bit of that twisty kind. And then more mac macaroni. So I'm gonna do a pot full that. Let's see if this comes out. So steamed up a bit, but oh yeah, that's better. Do as I say, not as I do. I probably didn't need both of these. blue bag. She got the lids off of these. It smells like sausage. Get out of here. Thank you. Ladies. Why did she get it? Because it was the tops of the sausage jars. 
She must have thought they were sausage. That's quite a bit of sausage meat. But, yeah, so like I said, this is all cooked and then it's pressure canned, so it's probably tender. Oh yeah, it's just like that meat. But it's, is it hamburger? It's uh, like hamburger. Is it sausage? Yeah, but oh. it's scrambled like hamburger. Yeah, have... yeah, it looks like hamburger. Yeah, yeah. So You'll eat it though. But when it's in the jaws, it kind of looks like chicken tender uh, skin. <laughs> yeah, I suppose it does. Yeah, one's in the jaws. Yeah. I'll turn this on a bit and look for it. Violet, get out of the dishwasher. Jeepers, Christmas girl. There. I'll get some sauce. What kind? Tomato sauce. Oh. Is that a good idea, Mace? Yeah. Lucky light, yeah. Lucky light, that. Yeah. That kind of makes me nervous, you standing on that stool. Look at that. Him and Misha were always like that. They would seriously climb the walls when they were little. I got three cans I just bought the other day. Can I like three? 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 Tomato sauce, so uh, I paid a dollar each. I might use it all because this is a whole bunch. And then I can always freeze some or, you know, use it for the next couple of days. Because I might do quite a bit of that pasta because to make a good even... Mace, you're not climbing the wall. No, you're not. But, oh, gosh. Anyways, and then I'll get that yeah, salad ready. Dog, I'll just wait for this dog, to start dog. moving. But this is... Is it cooked? Yeah, it, it's all cooked. A sausage ball for you. Is it good? Thumbs up? Yeah, and it's not too um, tender because sometimes when you do meat in a pressure cooker or pressure canner, it gets really um, tender, like soft. And it's okay for some things. Some things it's like, eh, still okay, but it's not as good as fresh. This stayed pretty firm, which is good, which is good. Uh, some of the ham I've done before got a little soft. I still used it. It still tasted like ham. It was fine to eat. It was those football hands, hams I cut up. But then I've canned other ham too, and that's fine too. But the football hams would get kind of soft. But it was fine in a soup, like a corn chowder or something like that. Or you fry it up in the pan so it gets brown. That's good. But I put some salt in that pot. I'll open these jars or beans and it, yeah instead of being hamburger and macaroni it's going to be Italian sausage so that will work and these guys better eat it what else what? or else you'll see what else you'll see if I don't eat it well then you'll go hungry there son I don't run a restaurant. So I'm gonna put all three cans in. That's good, I still got some hamburger downstairs and sausage and deer meat, not much. Okay, you two, you can't be doing that around the stove, both of you. running there together. Maze, well, she, he doesn't jump on her. Like, he's not allowed to go jump on her with all his weed or anything, but then she does the same with him. And two peas in a pod sometimes. And, I mean, this is going to be done lickety split as soon as that past is done, but I don't have to eat that now. I just wanted to do it now while I could. And then we'll probably take Violet for a walk before supper. Or just wait for Misha. Yeah, that's disappointing. I wasn't even thinking when I was going to mail that thing for Medea. I'll have to try to stop there sometime. Not that I 
you know, I, I have no idea if they sell books there. I know the post office in town, like the P.O. box one that's in my description box. That's the one for in town. Like, it actually goes to Dad's mailbox. Um, just because he has a P.O. box. We don't have a P.O. box. Um, just, you know, if people send me letters. I know you guys aren't. Well, we're all crazy, but, you know. You guys aren't creeps, but sometimes there's creeps out there, so I'd rather go to a P.O. box instead of a personal address. But you know what I mean? So he was like, oh, yeah, and Dad checks the mail like clockwork, like twice a day, like for himself. And then when I get mail, he gets all excited about it, too. He'll call me right away. I've got some mail for you. It's all the way from so-and-so. I'm not saying this for you guys to send me letters or cards, but I'm just saying. Um, yeah. He gets quite a kick out of it. Just washing those cans. They will all go in the recycle. Gotta wash them, though. Gotta wash them. Yeah, I hear you out there. Oh. I'm starting to learn more about wrestling again, like all the newer wrestlers, and he's starting to learn about the older wrestlers. Okay. Yeah, Maze, you gotta go while it's right there, and she wants to jump up on you because she wants to play. You don't have to play with her, but for goodness sakes, you can't stand right up by the stove where I'm cooking. And the older girls made brief appearances. That's about all. Misha's in the, yeah, I told you, Misha's in the tub now. She likes some um, bath things, and it doesn't bother her skin at all. Like, she doesn't have, it's funny, because she had eczema, like Maze had eczema. But she outgrew it. Mally was the same. Medea, Marquise, no, they still have it. I still have it. Mazai's never had it, but it's just some people are lucky that way. But eczema is a drop in a bucket compared to what some people have. So I am very thankful and grateful and humble in regards to, well, I have asthma and eczema, but yeah. I'm just a mixed bag of things. I don't know if I should add, I'm not going to add any salt to this because it's Italian sausage. There's spices and stuff in there anyways. So they can put some Parmesan cheese on top of it if they want. So it's pretty much opening those jars of meat and warming it with the sauce and boiling some pasta. So anyways, I'll be back in a bit. Oh, oh Lord. Let me turn it down. Um, I'm going to start that little book it's only 200 and some pages this evening probably and we'll see what that's all about but I'll be back oh yeah that's coming along well first of all that's those twisty noodles I'm using that up so I can get rid of this bag why not and these both have about the same amount so I'll use one of them in these Bit of this one. Not very much. Recycle. Now I'm going to stir that pasta and I'll turn it down a little bit. But you can't, you can't, you can't. Okay, fine. And I'll wait till it start to bubble and then I turn it down. I just put the timer on 10 minutes and then it's done. Like I don't let it 
boil, 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 hardcore, because I don't want to stand over the pot the whole time. I'll just wait till it comes up to a boil and then turn it down to like a seven. Set the timer for 10 minutes. Bob's your aunt. And Bessie's your aunt. Oh. All right, that timer just went off. I had it on for 10 minutes after it came up to a bubble. Started a couple times. And I'll taste a piece, to, a piece of pasta. Looks like it's done, but I'll taste it's a piece to make sure that it's pasta. not. Who are you, Super Mario? It's the pasta. <laughs> yeah, it seems to be good. I have a strainer sitting in the sink. So I'll just dump it in. Oh. Yeah, I feel like making a fire today in the kitchen. Be nice and cozy, but it's getting to that time. I'll just let that sit a minute. That time of year where, not that my house is cold, but I just want that cozy feeling. But it's not super cozy right now it'll be cozy if there's a fire but if i had a fire now it'd be too hot so i just need to slow my roll it's only september what uh stone cold steve austin was the only person in the ring and who, guess who came in who was in who was the only person in the ring stone cold steve austin, stone cold steve austin. and who came in the ring guess uh, jake the snake jake the snake he has oh. a sack does he? Yes, let's mm. see. Oh boy. Some old Steve Austin. Oh, Maze, he's a funny character. Now, I might try to just mix it all in the pan. We'll see. I'm going to try it. That's not all of it, but just so I can move it in. Sometimes I do this, sometimes I don't, but today I am. And if it's not enough sauce, I'll just open another stinking can and throw it in. So it's a carved up supper, but at least there is some salad to go along with it. Yeah, I always make too much. But just it shows you in a pinch, if for some reason we didn't have power for a week. Um, I mean, we could cook on a barbecue and all that so stuff. But Steve Austin just eliminated Jake the Snake. He just eliminated Jake the Snake, okay. Mm, just wanted to let you know. Um, that sausage or the hamburger or the deer meat or the ham um, would all be cooked. You could just pop the top. And it might be cold, but you could eat it or just warm it up some way and not have to worry about spending time trying to fry it and all that sort of thing. I've seen people can hot dogs, which is kind of funny. I might try that sometime. It'd be like you wouldn't can it in water, the ones that I've seen, I wouldn't think. But yeah, I couldn't imagine. Should I can hot dogs, Mace? Yeah. If you want to. Yeah, I might do it. Yeah. Buy a couple packs of 50% off hot dogs and can it up just to try it. Take it camping sometime, stick it on a stick and roast it over the fire. Yeah. Would that just, be okay? Yeah, you could, do, but you could just roast it over a fire and then get some ketchup and eat it. You could. You could do that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you could. Mm -hmm. I don't think I'm going to put more pasta in there. I'm going to let that cool and I'll put it in a Ziploc bag and put it in the fridge because... We could then, easily use that sometime else. And somebody can eat it. They could. Maybe okay. Mally will make a little mac and cheese with it after. Yeah. Go up, but only go because I don't think that's There's not a whole lot there, but there's enough there for two people. Probably. But, yeah. Do you want any of this now? It's only 4 or one Yeah. You don't have to. It's hot. Or do you want to wait till we get back from a walk with Violet? Okay, we're just waiting for Misha, so, because she wants to go this time too. Okay. 
Yeah, but she's going to give the treat and I'm going to pick the... You're going to carry the poop bag? Yeah. Okay, she'll give her the treat. Maybe that should be my chore. Yes, it can be your chore. chore. Yeah, you I'm going to have to shut this off. You want us to do chores. I do want you to do chores, yes. Because so, I can be my chore for the rest of my... For the rest of your life? No, for 17 years. Okay. How old will you be in 17 years? 27. I don't know. Well, you're six years old now. Mental 20, math. 23. Mm. 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. Yeah. You're so smart. He is super smart at math. Well, he's just a super smarty pants is what he is, which is a good thing. Mm. Anyways, we'll be back. We'll just wait on Misha, and then we'll take Violet out for a little jaunt. There's going to be a lot of clips of it. Yes. Bye. Bye. All right, Maze is going to get a sneaks on, but he's out here watching uh, Royal Rumble from 1997. Medea would have been two years old then. Yeah, but he knows all these wrestlers. It's hilarious. He blows my mind sometimes. <laughs> he's singing. Um, we're taking Violet for a walk up to the mailbox and back. Let me move my bag. But, yeah, we need to put her on the longer leash. I don't like that little short leash. She needs a little freedom. It was when she was tied to the rope where the tire swing was. Come on, Violet. Oh, yeah. She's got her halter top on. And, yeah, like I promised, you guys could go next time. Maze has got a poop bag in his me. pocket. Yes, well, yesterday, Maze and I, we didn't go very far. No, we didn't even go that far. Not even a fraction of it. Hello. Like, I'll show you when we get there. Is it to where, like, where the tail goes down? Yeah, not quite that far. But almost there. Is it up the hill still? No. It's not up the hill at all. We went, like, halfway. We'll show her. We'll show her. Look, people go and walk there too. Yes, oh, they are walking up there. Do they have a dog? Oh, yeah. Do they have a dog? Violet. We gotta watch for cars. You're right smack dab in the middle of the friggin' road. Oh, there's a tractor. <laughs> it was a big old tractor. Why is her car there? Oh, she's having a pee. Yay, Violet! Yes, we can still walk. She likes to get a little outside fresh air to blow the stank off her. We'll walk to the mailbox and back. But she has another pee and poopy. Well, she might. All the better. The more, the merrier. I need to shorten this leash up because. <laughs> okay. Yeah, Maze, you need to. Like a van on top of a van. Yeah. There was a van all the way back there. Was there? With, like, it was like our van with a white van on top of it. Okay. The white van doesn't have any windows. Oh, yeah, we can still see that. I wonder if they're going to walk or turn. Oh, they don't have my dog. No. We'll go over on the other side of the road when we get close. Mm -hmm. Unless they go over on the other side of the road. We'll see. We walked here, Misha, up until the grass was mowed, and that was it. It's just right up here. Oh, you cat. That's, that's cat. a cat down there in that yeah, driveway. Oh, yeah. I seen the little eyes. Yeah, Cute. No, I it, yeah. You know who lives there? No. Oh, the cat sees Violet. And the Violet cat doesn't. Cat. Well, I don't think Violet's seen it because she didn't stop. She stared at it. She looked, but didn't realize. Would she would stop and stare. She would stop and stare. And There's those people that were walking. They went down the hill. So I got my sneaks on today because I need them. My feet are kind of oh, telling me to wear sneakers. Oh, yeah, yeah, they did. Somebody lost a hubcap to the car. Did they lose it or did they lose? They lose. They it. They lost it. But if somebody sees it. It's the courtesy thing to do to put it up on side of the road. So if they're trying to retrace their steps, 
or drive back the way they came to find it, they they'll, will, they'll see it. Do and they'll do another tire. Yeah, you don't need those to drive, but it just makes the tire look better, I guess. I don't care, but I get it. Because in tight. Thank you. You're welcome. There's a a car. Oh, we're coming up at that spooky looking house. Yes, we'll be walking right past it. Another car off to the side. Everybody freeze. Not that one. And not this one. It's the one next door to this one. You mean the yellow one? Well, there's a yellow patch up there, yes. That's the only part I could see that looks yellow. That kind of, that's kind of like our house, but it's shaped Yeah. I'd like to go up and Look peek in the window. Look at that like right there, it fell down. Mm. That's what's going to happen to our roof. Oh, we just got a brand new roof last summer. It's not yeah. going to happen to our roof. <laughs> Wouldn't it be neat look to go the, in there, though? Yeah, but look at the, up there. Yeah. There's like two trees there. And there's stuff on the other side. Yeah, growing right on top of the roof. Saritha remembers when she was a little girl, she lived in this, right here in where we are, and this house was really fancy and had a whole bunch of flowers, and people used to come here for piano lessons. Isn't that cool? Yeah. She, you might not, might not need to use that bag maze, but. Oh, where are you going? <laughs> going for a drive? How long have you been there? I don't know. I thought there was an orange something in it. I don't know. Misha's trying to convince me to go up into the haunted house. She wants to go in too. Oh, sorry, Violet. I stepped on the leash. But. Oh, I was almost tempted to say yes. But we better not. Oh gosh. If I knew the people that lived on both sides of the house, maybe I would. Maybe not in it, but go up and around it. I suppose it wouldn't hurt to go up and around it. But I'm not going to do it with the little kids here. Misha, maybe. Okay, Misha's got the reins. You don't have to, yeah, keep it twisted up a bit so it's not so long. Oh, there's that cat down there. There goes Misha. Oh, there goes Maze. <laughs> They're going to beat me home for sure. I'm just going to keep going at my pace. But we don't live on a busy, well, we don't live. It's okay, you can keep going. You're going to wait for me? Oh, what a sweetie. Yeah, we're, you know, very rural. But our road... You know, it's, we get cars on it. It's not like a busy oh, motorbike going the other way, though. Mainly the people that come on this road, live on this road. Oh, you're going to hold my hand. I love holding hands with you. Thanks, Maze. You haven't done that in how old? Two years old? <laughs> Seven months. Ago. Maybe. Like if your hand gets hot and sweaty, you can let go. And there goes Misha and Violet. Violet's just trotting along. Mm -hmm. She must know. I'm coming, Violet. We're coming. Run up here and then run back. Get Misha all tired out. <laughs> Misha has her big pink boots on. Yeah, she's just running for fun, not for speed. Violet, I mean. Yeah, but uh, I'll just put this. We'll use it next time. Yeah. She she had a poop this morning, what Mace. If I, what if I keep my clothes on and I put this in there? Okay, I don't think that will. 
yeah, well, you can put it in your pocket for now, but when we get home, we'll just put it on the shoe shelf. Mm -hmm. So we'll know tomorrow if we go for a walk together. Yeah, but that was about a mile. We'll go on a different walk, maybe. That was probably about a mile. Maybe about a mile. I don't know. We've been gone a little while. Because I don't think two miles would be that far. Yeah. I think it would be harder. Yeah. 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 Oh, here comes a car. Oh, no. That might be Anne. Anne and Elliot. She has a blue car like that. But she's driving by, so. Oh. Yeah, it was Anne. She must be driving up to check the post off, or like the mailbox, I bet. Yeah. And we're home. There you go, bub. Thanks for coming for a walk with us. It makes walks so much funner. So much more fun. Oh, thanks. Oh, it's been a good day, hasn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's fun spending time together, do you think? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's very important. I like spending time with my family. I like spending time with my family, too. You made the family and dad. Me and dad made this little family. But he has to stay but, away for like 25 more days. Yeah, about 25 more days, yeah. Mm -hmm. But he's coming home tomorrow just for an overnight. So he can see off on the school bus. Yeah. Which will be nice. So at night you're going to wake me up. Well, kind of like night. He'll be home probably around supper time tomorrow. So, all right. It was a walk. I don't know. I wonder what it was like. It was with Anne Kaylee. Well, I don't think it was that long. It's been like, like 20 minutes. Oh, more than 20 minutes. Well, 24 minutes. Like 35. 45. Something like that. What? Well, I think it was like 43. All right. Well, shorter for you because you ran. I just kind of shake it up so things get wiggle, 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 wiggle. Listen there, listen. I waited for long. Cause I, didn't I know, because he didn't want me to get lost. <laughs> right? Yeah. And but, I like being near my mommy. Mm-hmm. Because I love you. Because I love you too. My ear feels better. That's good. Does it look gigantic? No. Does it feel gigantic? No. All right. It's gigantic. Her earlobe. Oh. Oh. Ear. oh. Feels. What is earlobe for? I don't know. To wiggle. <laughs> well, the thing that I got. Do you want much goulash, Misha, or more salad? More salad. Okay. I'll just give you a little. I'm gonna, I don't really want. Do you like the corn and beans? I only really no, like. No, I don't like the beans. Yeah, Do you but like I the chicken? Like, yeah, I love the chicken. I love mm. it. Okay. You love it. Do you want the chicken? Um, yes. Um, Watch out, Maze. That's my Maze. That's Bro's Maze. Well, he didn't really stick his mouth on it. I know. Mm -hmm. Trying to get the tomato in there. More tomatoes, more tomatoes. More I know. Tomatoes. I'm trying. There. This, wait a minute. Is that, I need my battery pack. Did you put onions in it? A little bit, but they're big, so you can pull it out. No, I don't. Oh, you want them. Okay. There's Parmesan in the fridge. Mm -hmm. Okay, Mays, you're up next. I don't like tomatoes, but all the I made them... Are the onions like uh like the good ones? The purple onions. Some contestants feel like the good ones that I like. <sighs> okay, get your fi fingers over there. Misha, you can't take all the tomatoes. You're not the only person. Well, mine that... fell on the ground. Oh, did it? So you want the chicken and the lettuce. Yeah, do you like <laughs> lettuce? It's hot, it? kind of. Okay, don't put it back in the salad. Uh... Just put it on the side. What 
outside. Just over on the camera. Perfect. <laughs> oh, Misha, there's some of this Southwest sauce. Southwest. Some dressing for your salad, or do you want it plain? Do you want any of that? What is it? It's like salad dressing. Uh, that kind. No. Or there's Italian dressing in there, or maybe ranch. No. You don't want any. Do you want yeah. Parmesan on your goulash? Parmesan. Yes. Well, yes. Yeah, what's this? That's Italian. Is it good? I don't know. Yeah. Mom, can you put it on? Mom? I'm, I, I'm, well, I, I'll put a little bit on the spoon before I put it on your salad because I don't need you to be like, oh, I don't like it. And then you waste the whole salad. I don't waste the salad. Just flip it over on another plate. Don't eat it. He needs some milk. Yeah. He needs some milk. He needs some milk. No. Okay, see? Now, aren't you glad I didn't pour it all over your salad? No. Now, can you pour it all over my salad? Do you want that? Yes. Or there's that as an island dressing. I don't know. Or there's ranch. I see ranch there. You don't like ranch. If I don't like that, yeah, you use it. Okay. I got some of this. Some of Here, come try this one. I just put a little blob on a spoon for her to dip her finger in. Yes or no? This one. Okay. She likes the Thousand Island Island dressing. Go get your plate. The Thousand Island dressing. Mm-hmm. Oh, my husband must have got that. I don't know. Yeah, when he was here. Yes. But he's staying. At he's place. working. Kind of, because he's going to do all his stuff at Mom, the Yeah, he's a professor. Professor. Ink. Professor Ink. Professor Ink. What's that? What is it? I don't know. I don't know. It pops into my head. It sounds familiar, but. Is that enough, Misha? Yeah. Well, that's so ink. I don't know. All right. That's a lot of food, Mace. It's Mace's, but he likes salad and he likes goulash. So. I don't like tomatoes or the onions. No, his salad is chicken and lettuce. Is there any bacon bits? No, there is not. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Yeah. oh let me get a picture of it first, Mace. <laughs> Just a minute, guys. Yeah. All right, friends. Well, it is 5:42. The kids had lunch or er, supper, and I'm gonna end this video now so I can get it edited and exported and uploaded tonight and start fresh again tomorrow, or maybe start fresh again tonight. We'll see. We'll see. But yeah, it was a good day. Um, yeah, it was fun going for a walk with Misha and Mace. I need to do that more often tomorrow if it's not raining. I'm gonna take them for another walk, but a different walk, like a different way so that would be fun um yeah they're young enough to actually still enjoy walks together the other girls will come sometimes but then you know they're just at a different age different stage in their life i guess but um yeah anyways thanks for hanging out with us today and i want to say peace love and happiness today and every single day please like share and subscribe if you so choose but if not that's okay too i still love you I still want all the happiness in the world for each and every one of you out there. I certainly do. I really, really honest and truly do. Yes, I do. So, yeah. But, um, anyways, there's leftovers of that past. Of course, there is. I always end up doing that. But I'll just put it in the fridge, and maybe it'll be lunch for tomorrow. If it's not lunch for tomorrow, I can always freeze it in individual containers and use them in case if somebody doesn't want something I'm making for supper, I can nuke that in the microwave. Not a big deal. So, all right. Well, with that, I'm going to say have a good night or have a good morning, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.
boink.